so okay so we have studied the in the previous class some effects of electric current in that effect we have studied the uh, heating effect of electric current so how electricity converts into heat energy correct now we are going for second chapter so this is the magnetic effect of electric current means electric energy can be converted into magnetic energy okay so that we have to discuss in this chapter okay so now uh, you know the circuit in the previous class you have studied about the circuit okay take a conducting wire connect this one to the battery okay or plug key okay ammeter voltmeter and all those things okay so imagine uh, i have taken one simple uh, circuit okay i have taken a simple circuit cell i have taken key i have taken here plug key or uh, closed plug key i have taken so now what happened so electric charges start flowing from positive charge to negative charge okay so now uh, imagine there is an electricity in this conducting wire this is the conducting wire okay copper or aluminium or something so when uh, a compass or magnetic compass okay when magnetic compass is brought near this okay when it is brought near this so this magnetic compass inside the magnetic compass there is a magnetic needle this magnetic needle starts deflecting okay it starts deflecting so why it starts deflecting so you know magnetic needle will gets deflected if other magnet is brought near this otherwise it will never deflect so but magnet is not taken when the compass is brought near the current carrying conductor when it is brought near the current carrying conductor it starts deflecting it shows that the magnetic field will be created by the current carrying conductor okay current carrying conductor produces the invisible magnetic field okay so this is a conductor around this wire around this conductor we can see the invisible magnetic field so because of that uh, magnetic field uh, this compass starts deflecting so so this is the magnetic effect of electric current in detail we have to discuss i will tell you later so next uh, i have to go go for what is magnet what is magnetic field and all those things we have to discuss now okay see magnet uh, there are two type of magnets one is the natural magnet and another one is artificial magnets okay so magnet can be classified into two types okay one is natural magnet and another one artificial magnet okay artificial magnet artificial magnet natural magnet means we get it in the nature for example i you know the two type of iron ore hematite and magnetite you know hematite and magnetite both are iron ore fe2o3 fe3o4 so among those two fe3o4 is there you know magnetite that is the one of the uh, ore of uh, natural magnet okay that's the ore of natural magnet okay and lodestone is an ex one more example for uh, natural magnet but artificial magnet means uh, it is prepared in the laboratory okay artificial magnets are prepared in the laboratory uh, here we give the different shapes also okay according to our convenience so artificial how it is prepared one is mechanically it is prepared okay one is prepared in the mechanically mechanically it is prepared another one by using electricity okay electric energy by using electric what i told now that is electric energy produces some magnetic energy so that is uh, electromagnet so again we have to discuss all those things in detail later okay so mechanical and uh, using electric energy we can convert the uh, sorry we can uh, produce uh, artificial magnets okay there are two methods in the preparation of artificial magnets okay Uh, according to the shape uh, we call in different names suppose a magnet is like a cylinder okay it's like a bar it is called bar magnet what we call this one bar magnet okay it's called bar magnet suppose if it is like a needle okay if it is like a needle it is called needle magnet okay it is called a needle magnet okay so if it is like a horseshoe okay it's like a horseshoe it is called a horseshoe magnet okay horseshoe magnet so according to the shape we can call it a different names all these magnets are artificial magnets 
hands. Okay, so uh, some uh, alloy is used, oligo. Okay, as such alloy is used to prepare in the uh, laboratory. Okay, and uh, these magnets are used in the laboratory also, artificial magnets. Okay, so now we can go for uh, some important point about uh, a magnet. Okay, suppose you uh, you have taken a bar magnet. Okay, you have taken a bar magnet. Some of the properties we shall discuss about the bar magnet. So all magnet has two poles. Okay, every magnet has two poles. What are the poles? One is the north and another one is the south pole. Okay, so these poles cannot be isolated. Okay, every magnet has two poles, whether artificial or uh, natural, whatever it is. Every magnet has two poles. Remember, one is the north pole and another one is the south pole. It cannot be isolated. Okay, it cannot be isolated. What is the meaning of the word isolated? You cannot separate it. Suppose if you want to cut it here. Just to separate it, but this end becomes south and this end becomes north. Okay, even if you convert into a small molecule, there also you can see the same poles, north pole and south pole. It cannot be isolated. Remember, poles cannot be isolated. Okay, so now a uh, few more we can uh, discuss. So now uh, I told there is a uh, north pole and south pole. So how can you say which is north and which is south? It's very easy to. Identify. Take a magnet. Okay, take take a magnet and just you hang this magnet or pivot the magnet. Okay, hang the magnet or pivot the magnet and just give the tap. Okay, you hang it and just give the tap. When you give the tap, it starts rotating. So when it starts rotating, at the end it comes into rest. In which direction? This end shows the north direction and this end shows the south direction. North pole directed towards the north. Okay, south pole directed towards the south. Okay, so in this way we can say uh, it has two poles. These two poles can be easily identified. Okay, and the third one, this uh, magnetic uh, magnet is, is there. No, it has magnetic energy. This magnetic energy is concentrated uh, more near the poles. Okay, the uh, energy concentrated, energy concentrated. Energy concentrated more near the poles. Concentrated more near the poles. Okay, more energy is here. So you might have observed. You take a bar magnet and roll over the sand. Okay, and remove it. Most of the iron fillings are uh, attached to the ends, isn't it? So when compared to with the middle, here more uh, mag magnet iron fillings uh, are attached. That is because of. Uh, uh, the more magnetic field, more magnetic field, or more magnetic energy is on concentrated at the ends. Okay, concentrated at the ends. Okay, so that you have to remember. So next, uh, uh, the next uh, next point, if you go for this one, uh, if you take any two magnet, okay, if you take any two magnet, if you take any two magnet, okay, when you brought near this, when you brought near this, if you like unlike poles brought together, one north, one south, if you brought together, they attract each other. Unlike poles, okay, okay. Two unlike poles are brought near, so they attract each other. Two like poles, both are south or both are north, they repel each other, okay. They repel each other, okay. They repel, they push aside, they repel each other. This is called law of magnetism, also, okay. This is also called as law of magnetism. So, among the two magnets, like poles are always repel each other, unlike poles always attract each other, okay. So, that's uh, one more property. Okay, so these are the some properties uh, about the magnet. Few more will come. I will tell you that later. So now, if you go for uh, a magnet, okay, if you go for the magnet, uh, uh, I told uh, uh, most of the magnetic energy concentrated at the ends. Okay, concentrated at the ends. So now every magnet, okay, every magnet has its own field. Means uh, uh, certain area. The magnetic field acquires some area. Okay. So this region acquired by the magnet, okay. So the region acquired by the uh, the power of magnet is called magnetic field, okay. It is called a magnetic field. Magnetic field is a very important one. I'll give you the definition, current definition. So magnetic field means if is if the magnet is very small, its field is very small. If magnet is very big, its field is very big. Means 
up to that region it has the influence the magnet has the influence if magnetic substance is brought it attracts in that area suppose if you take the magnetic substance away from that area it never attracts so that is called a magnetic field it's very important one okay i will uh, this is the one of the expected question in the examination okay the region is a very important one okay the region the region surrounding the region surrounding a magnet the region surrounding a magnet in which in which the force of the force of the force of the magnet the force of the magnet the force of the magnet can be detected can be detected can be detected is a very important one okay the region surrounding the magnet in which the force of magnet can be detected this is the magnetic field okay question may be asked what is magnetic field every magnet has its own field if a small magnet field is very small big magnet field is very big it has its influence up to that region okay up to that region so in that near the poles field is long okay but here Uh, other than the poles, field is near. Okay, here it is a very long, long distance because more magnetic field is concentrated at the ends. You know, therefore field is little more. But here field is lesser, so you will get like elliptical shape. Okay, you will get like a field is like a elliptical shape. Okay, uh, it is because of uh, more force near the ends. It's a very important one. What is magnetic field? Okay, you can expect in the examination. Clear? Yeah. So this is about the magnetic. a field okay so uh, this much you remember so and i will continue in the next class okay thank you